Hey guys, what's up? Today we are probably talking about the best and most amazing feature Sketch is bringing to us users today. And it's not really Sketch, it's actually Craft and Envision. So they brought prototyping into Sketch. But let me tell you the story how I got this new feature. It all started with an afternoon nap. I got up, checked Twitter, saw that people are posting about this new craft feature. I checked my emails. I already got an email uh, telling me, here, hey, do you want to test the new feature, the new craft plugin? Um, and it's finally there. I mean, I made a video about Silverflows, which was the startup Envision acquired like about a year ago, I guess. And I already made a video about prototyping in Sketch but they developed so many new things. And guys, let's just start out. Let's just jump into Sketch. I want to test out the new craft plugin uh, that we have right now. So I'm in Sketch. I updated my craft plugin to the latest version. I have a UI kit opened up and we simply have to click this little icon down here, which says now we are in prototyping mode and we have to select a layer and we need to press C to begin. Okay, so select, select this header layer. Um, of course, it's actually a symbol, but we are just using this normal header layer. Press C and you already see this icon, which is like expanding this arrow. And we can drag it over to like any screen. They will get highlighted. And of course, we will select the filter screen because we want to make it like clickable. And this is just to show you how it works. So we can say we want to link as a screen or link as an overlay. And the gesture is a click, of course, and we can add a link. So it's just working like that. So this is the transition that we just created. Um, of course, you could also say you want to swipe left, you want to like swipe right, swipe up. You can do whatever you want. Um, we can also, of course, say we want to let it swipe up. So we can do that. Um, and we can have a nice little transition right here. So yeah, do whatever you want using a tab or using a click. Um, if you're on the desktop, if you select these desktop methods, you can't really select a transition. So let's go for tab and let's make it slide up. So this should already work. Um, this is like a totally simple version, totally simple method of doing that. Um, of course, you can select any other layer within such a screen and you can select uh, like basically any other artboard to link it to the screen. Um, you can also say you want to link it to an external URL or link back and close. Um, you can head escape to, to, to just get back. And of course, we can also select our like cancel layer right here and hit C to link back to our first layer. Just like that, let's select the tab again and we want it to slide down. So this is like a easy version of creating such a prototype. So let's sync it up. Let's try out our new prototype. So um, I selected both of our linked layers and we are using Envision or Craft Sync to upload it to our web page. So this is like, let's call it iOS and it's an iPhone prototype. We hit create prototype. We only want to sync the selected artboards and we can just sync it. Your, your screens are synced to Envision. It takes a moment and I can say I want to open it up it's opening up our screens. They are already here. 
and we should now be able to play the screens in our browser or maybe even in our phone if you want to do that. You also see this little craft plugin down here. Um, let's try it out. So we are in our prototyping window and we are in the build mode. And you see that this area right here is already selected. So we can simply already use our prototype that we just created. It's easy as that we can simply use them with transitions to slide up and slide down. So this is the hotspot area that we created in Craft. We can simply go back to Craft and change our mind. So I forgot to add the tab gesture in our first, uh, like linking in our first screen transition. Um, and, and now we should be able to make it slide up. It's easy as that, say you want to sync your screen and all you have to do is to of course select your artboards the two artboards that we just used select them sync them they are being synced to envision so i sync both of my screens to envision we can simply refresh our browser window which will give us the ability to test that it's sliding up as I said and it's of course also sliding down so it's really really easy to create this cool prototype just within Sketch. It's so easy you see these connections right here you upload them to Envision and you can simply use it. Um, you can do much more amazing things with it. For example you can go into the inspect mode which is also a super amazing feature by Envision. You can select all of these different layers for example this text layer right here you see what typeface your designer or your developer used in this case. You can say you want to select and copy the color um, and you can basically do that for every layer in this prototype. So it's a really awesome feature. Thank you so much Envision for bringing this into Sketch. Um, this is like enhancing Sketch so much because, for example, Adobe XD was catching up quite a bit since you could really easily create prototypes in Adobe XD. But now that you brought this ability to us designers who are using Sketch and who want to keep using Sketch, it's just amazing. So thanks a lot for that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed our uh, like and i hope you enjoy using envision craft as well i put the link in the video description so you can download it and check it out it's free it's awesome check it out it's amazing um let me know in the comment section what you think about this feature what you would like to improve what you really need um and just your overall thoughts about that guys i want to thank you for your time and we see us in the next video bye this video was sponsored by dev mountain if any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12-week design bootcamp intended to get you a full-time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!